In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Luke 18, rather, October 18th is the feast day of St. Luke. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. St. Luke is the author of the Gospel of Luke. Also, St. Luke is the author of the Acts of the Apostles. Invite all of you to get in the habit of reading the Bible. The Bible is very important because the Bible is the Word of God. Especially when we celebrate the feast day of one of the evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it's a good idea to examine our conscience and see how much we really love the Word of God. So I'd like to give you just three of the central ideas of the Gospel of St. Luke. First is St. Luke is the Gospel of Mary. We have in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1 and 2, we have the five joyful mysteries of the Rosary. We have the Annunciation, the visitation, the birth of Jesus, the presentation of Jesus in the temple, and we have the finding of the child Jesus in the temple after three days of sorrowful search. So it's the gospel in the special way of Mary in the joyful mysteries. Another key element in the gospel of Luke is the gospel of mercy. Luke chapter 15, we can call it the lost and found chapter because you have the lost coin and the coin that is discovered. You have the lost sheep and the sheep that is found. Then you have the parable of the prodigal son, or you might even call it the merciful father, in which the son is lost and he returns to the loving embrace of the father. So the Gospel of Luke challenges us to accept God's mercy. Even though we're great sinners, God's mercy goes way beyond our sin. And lastly, St. Luke is also the Gospel of Prayer. In Luke chapter 18, we got two wonderful parables on prayer that are actually inserted in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. One is the parable of the insistent widow who keeps knocking at the door of the unjust judge to receive justice. And then the second parable that follows the insistent widow is the parable of the Pharisee and the publican. The publican is honored because the publican was was humble. So here we have two parables on prayer. One showing us the importance of perseverance in prayer. The second is that if we want our prayer to be heard, we have to be humble. As Jesus said, I am meek and humble of heart. So on this feast day of St. Luke, open up your Bible and read some passage of St. Luke to really get to know the infinite treasures and riches of the Word of God. Amen.